Congressman Jeff Fortenberry officially pleaded not guilty today on three felony charges that center on what federal authorities call a deliberate misleading of an FBI investigation on illegal campaign funds. 3 News Now reporter John Kipper listened in on the case and tells us what new details have been revealed. Yeah, Vanessa, Representative Fortenberry will not be held in detention while he awaits the case. Now, he still must post a $50,000 bond, and despite objections from his attorneys, he can't talk to anybody on the witness list that includes current and former staff members. Is an outlier to that. They Judge Rosell Oliver ultimately told the prosecution and Fortenberry defense team to work out details so Fortenberry may be allowed to at least talk with current staff, just not about the case. Fortenberry's attorney argued for the lightest bond terms possible, saying the nine-term congressman served his country with dignity throughout his entire time in Congress. The judge largely agreed, giving Fortenberry reasonable conditions. Through multiple court documents, the FBI paints a picture on how they say campaign money got to Fortenberry. It starts with billionaire foreign national Gilbert Shiguri, who gave $30,000 to his consultant, Tufik Baklini, an American businessman. Baklini then gave the money to a person the FBI calls Individual H. That person then spread 30 grand to eight other people who made what appeared to, at the time, be legal donations to Fortenberry's campaign. The affidavit from the Fed says Fortenberry repeatedly lied and misled authorities during their investigation into illegal contributions. Authorities say Fortenberry told them he was unaware that the money came from Shiguri or illegally to him at all. The affidavit also says Fortenberry never disclosed that the money came from Shiguri at any point. Each of the three charges carry a max penalty of five years in prison. Fortenberry's attorney, John Rattrell, said in court he will soon file motions that include suppressing Fortenberry's statements to the FBI and dismissing the case.